Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Finding My Third Eye. I'm Nikki Diamond, and today I'm talking about something that's near and dear to my heart and that has transformed my life, the elimination diet. If you've been struggling to shed those stubborn pounds or dealing with mysterious health problems, well, then this might be the solution for you. I'm passionate about health, wellness, and sharing my spiritual journey to help others live their best life. And trust me, this journey has had its fair share of ups and downs, but the elimination diet has been so worth it. It was a game changer for me. So what exactly is the elimination diet? Well, it's a methodical approach to identifying food sensitivities and intolerances by temporarily removing certain foods from your diet and then reintroducing them one by one to pinpoint any adverse reactions. Now, let me tell you why this is crucial, especially if you're struggling with weight loss or dealing with chronic health issues. You see, our bodies are incredibly complex and what works for one person may not work for another. Food sensitivities can interrupt your hormones, trigger inflammation, and wreak havoc on your metabolism and your stomach, making it nearly impossible to shed those unwanted pounds or finding relief from health issues. For years, I battled with excess weight and debilitating physical pain. Oh, and my cherry on top was daily migraines since I've been eight years old. Yeah. I've tried every diet under the sun and countless medications, including daily shots, but nothing seemed to work long term. That's when I stumbled upon the elimination diet. I dropped 30 pounds in the first month and I continue to lose weight daily. By systematically eliminating common trigger foods like shellfish, dairy, gluten, soy, tree nut, food coloring, corn, and refined sugars. I am much closer to uncovering the root cause of my struggles. It turns out I had hidden food sensitivities that were not only hindering my weight loss efforts, but also triggering my daily migraines. I have not noticed much pain relief in my body, which sucks. But in my head, the reduced amount of migraines is amazing. So here's the best part. Once I identified those trigger foods and eliminated them from my diet, the transformation was nothing short of miraculous. With the excess weight melting away and my migraines finally beginning to chill, I felt more energized, more vibrant, and more alive than I have in years. Now, I won't sugarcoat it. The elimination diet is not easy. It requires dedication, patience, and willingness to listen to your body. But let me tell you, the results are well worth the effort. After eating that piece of pizza, or maybe a few, after being on the elimination diet for about three months, I ended up with about three days of migraines because of that. It was almost like a day worth of migraines for every slice of pizza I ate. Yeah. So it's clear the elimination diet not only is working, but it's worth it. Though my question still remains somewhat, is it the gluten, the tomatoes, the dairy for the cheese on my pizza? In my case, I found that food coloring automatically triggers my migraines, no matter what. I found food coloring in all of my medications. So I slowly worked to swap out all of my vitamins and medications for dye-free options. A weird one, eggplant seems to be a migraine trigger. Dairy is so unknown at this point. I'm just still unsure how my stomach will handle it. Since I was in my early 20s, dairy would just ruin the rest of my day. But I love cheese. It's a real weakness that I've had to overcome. Being on the elimination diet 
is not just all about weight loss. It actually has helped me repair my natural stomach flora as well with eating just these really easy to eat foods. To my surprise, on a trip to the coast, we stopped in at Cold Stone and I did not get sick. Now, that could be a fluke and I'm not really ready to risk it and any other future vacations, but I didn't get sick, which means that maybe I'm actually starting to heal my body on the inside. So what do I eat? I did get some inspiration from Dave Asprey's elimination diet. He organized the foods in order from good to worse. He also organized fruits according to their glycemic index, meaning how they affect your blood sugar. So I eat proteins like shrimp, pork chops, steaks, eggs, and lean hamburger. I started with soy-free and corn-free eggs. Those are so hard to find where I live. What I did notice is that the allergy-free eggs that I was buying at a natural grocery store had the remnants of fish meal, and I just recognized the smell from gardening. I slowly worked the regular store-bought eggs back into my diet, and my stomach seems to be handling them well. Something to be mindful of is whatever that chicken eats is what's in your eggs. I eat berries of all kinds daily. Sometimes I will eat a banana. I do take vitamins that are free of all my current allergens, or most of them. My aspirin has corn in it, but it's dye-free. I eat zucchini, Brussels sprouts, and artichokes for my green foods. White rice, like a jasmine rice, has been my salvation so that I didn't starve along the way. When I first began the elimination diet, I was hardcore into Ayurveda practice, which I still am, but maybe not as hardcore. So when I started out, I was eating mostly Indian inspired vegetarian dishes at that time. My stomach flipped out from the basan, which is a chickpea flour, which is so weird because I can eat the Bonanza brand from the grocery store that's been processed and it's a chickpea pasta no problem. I make meatballs with no Parmesan or breadcrumbs, and they're still delicious. It's all about the seasoning. They're not the most pretty, but they're so yummy. Let's talk about chocolate. This is most people's weakness. Thankfully, some brands actually make allergen-free chocolate. What? Like the Enjoy Life brand? I get the Mega Chunks in the baking aisle and portion out some for my night snack so I'm not deprived. My other chocolate backup plan is I take a tablespoon of unsweetened cacao, Ghirardelli usually because they have the least toxic metals inside their chocolate, and I mix it with two tablespoons of maple syrup. This makes like a nice fudgy consistency and you can either just lick it off your spoon or you could dip some banana slices into it. I will link to some elimination diet resources in the description below. So if you've been struggling with losing weight or mysterious health problems, then I urge you to give the elimination diet a try. It could be the key to unlocking a happier, healthier you. And remember, you are not alone on this journey. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Together, we can achieve our health and wellness goals and live our best lives. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below so you get notified for future videos. And I'm Nikki Diamond from Finding My Third Eye.